Hey everybody, this is SFC Spectacular. You're in COIC for all things entertaining on this channel. Welcome back, welcome back. <clears throat> if this is your first time coming here, I appreciate your time. You're probably coming just for the review, but that's okay. And if you are returning as a subscriber, greatly appreciate it. But uh, this is my review of the Tommy Tech Little Armory LD006 Gun Rack B Plastic Model Kit. Um, I got this from Amazon and you can find this on Amazon or eBay. Uh, there are four different racks versions of this thing and I'll put them up on the screen as I talk about them. But uh, yeah, I like this thing. It, it solved a lot of problems I had before because if you collect the Masterpiece Transformers, you'll know if you get enough of them, you'll have a bunch of accessories sitting loose somewhere. And before this, I put them in the back of Optimus Prime's trailer. I put them in a cubby hole in one of my storage areas. Some of the Decepticon stuff is still hanging all over the area. So, you know, this came in handy. Also, I was kind of weary if this would even fit Masterpiece Transformers as they make like six to ten scale size, maybe larger, smaller sometimes, but mostly in the six inch to 10 inch range uh figures so this is this is, i had to do the measurements and all that stuff so i'm here to do that for you review it put all the stats up the screen so you get to see how this thing works and maybe you can you use them with your marvel legends it was designed for figma figures figma kata i think the name is and you can use them with gi joe six inch he mans all that good stuff so let's get into this review unboxing review and all that good stuff Moving right along to the unboxing section of this video, you see it comes in a nice shiny glossy box. Gun rack be there on the side. Some writing I can't understand. Another view of that on the back. Rotate it all around for you. Like I say, nice artwork. The figures that it's intended for, those figures look real nice, but I don't, I can't see me collecting them because they don't fit my needs. I just need Transformers, you know, nothing else. I'm getting rid of my old collection of uh, Power Rangers and other things. I did a video on that. You could probably catch that somewhere on this channel or my other channel. Um, but let's get into this thing and take it out. I have to be careful when opening boxes because then when I've done reviews before, people are like, oh no, you ripped the box. So I guess you're not supposed to just rip boxes open. I mean, I didn't, it wasn't like I was a heathen or anything, but I, you know, I gave it a little, nice little tug and opened it up. But here, separate the tape for you know, sensitive people. As you can see, it comes with these in these put together. I don't know what they call these little things. You got a nice little instruction manual. And then you got all the plates behind it, the grays that form it. So you put together like a little model kit, so to speak, right? It does say model kit, right? And when you get all the previous mentioned ones, A, B, C, D, there's more than the A, B, C, and D ones, but they're specialized. Like there's a gun range one. <clears throat> Once you put them all together, they form a nice little small diorama. I, I ordered also a little desk if I can get a picture, I'll probably put that in. So I'm gonna put it and make this like a little armor room or story room for Wheeljack and Ratchet and Lambor, you know, who'll be gunners and medics and, you know, kind of like a home base thing, you know. And I can also use it for the photography that I've got planned coming up for my Instagram, shameless plug, very, very shameless. You can catch me on gaming, so spectacular on Instagram. Uh, if you still wanna see some dank memes from me, I don't create much more on this page, but you can go to SFC Spectacular Instagram and you can see my old work there. Uh, but I mostly talk about Transformers video games like I do on this channel there on Instagram. So you could probably keep update what I'm gonna do here, there, if you wanna follow me, I'm saying it's up to you. But these are all the plates that you, uh, that assemble what will be our gun rack. So, now that we got that all out the way, all displayed for you, we will get together, we will start putting this bad boy to together all right let's get this thing assembled to put together you know you gotta look at the instructions even though it's not in english so i can look at some of these pictures because they do help assemble help you with assembly now each one of these racks are marked with numbers and letters so for the whole bar rack area thing i don't know what they're called one is labeled F, D, they'll tell you in the instructions and labels, and then the parts are one, two, three. So for instance, right here, we're putting together one of the little dresser drawers. Uh, so that is F, I believe. 
and the little parts are one, two, and three. So the sides are like one, the front of the drive is like two. I'm, I'm not, this is not exact numbers, but this is what you'll recognize when you open it up. So they pop out of these little plastic plastic resin fitting resin fittings and they have little these little nubs on them if you can see them i don't know if you can see them i rotated around there and those little nubs snap into each other and i'm gonna say this probably two or three times in this video because it's important please have a little bit of super glue you know some type of reliable glue on hand to make sure these things stay together because once you assemble in the draw which you'll see later once you assemble it all together and you try to pull it out they'll most likely pop out. I saw one other review on YouTube on this. No other review, I've seen this thing. He does mention that, <clears throat> so that is true. Once you get these drawers assembled, once you get the dresser, the, like the cabinet thing assembled, make sure you got some reliable glue. All right, so these parts snap together, like I said, and they form the drawer, and you'll have one piece that is the handle, and you do that last. Well, I did it last, I should say. And as you can see here, we got our first draw nice and done. And I got the other, in the interest of time, I did the other dresser draws off camera, whatever you want to call them. You know, they're nice little neat draws and they do hold a lot of stuff. So let's put those off to the side so you can see those nice, neat. Now this is before I had glue. I had to go out the next day and get glue, you know, or what was it? yeah, it was the next day and get some glue to hold this thing together. because. Like I said before, so I learned that I learned the hard way, but I just didn't have the glue to hold it together. And here's the wall diorama piece that holds everything together. You see, I'm popping it apart to show you how it fits together. Right there at the bottom, it clips together with that little clip. Oops, kind of dropped it there, but I can recover. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as some would say. I actually glued this part together too after I got it all assembled in the end. But you just take this little clip boom hook those two together and you take that hook it into the set that's already there and it's like three little connected pieces they all snap into place now they it's got a little indentation in the groove that you should follow or in there so to be a little bit crooked there so make sure you get in all in those little grooves and it become flush the clips will once you get them all filled in not hard to put together at all but it is it is requires a bit of patience as some of them snap out and I got you know real strong thumbs as I'm told so sometimes I, I did snap my dresser drawer and you'll probably see that later in the video so one of the little dresser drawers handles is snapped and you just fit that part onto the wall you could paint this thing but me personally I'm too lazy and I think it looks cool as it is those are both valid reasons so I'm gonna just leave it this color and when I get it all set up it'll probably fit into one of my cubby holes here in my my drawer in my office you probably see that at the end briefly all right so we got that wall set up nice to go all right moving on i believe now we are assembling the dresser itself or the drawer stand or the weapons drawer whatever you want to call it so you got to disassemble all this stuff that's one big piece take that all apart and once you get all these parts separated you will piece them together like we did with the uh, drawers themselves and then you can glue them down I, I usually glue them at the edges too you know so like at the corners of the drawers put a little glue dab a glue here and there and then you know pressurize it and hold it the glue I have it takes takes about 12 hours to, to finally stick and hold but that was plenty plenty of time I just left it in my office overnight and let it dry and it is a bit, a bit rough to get these things out, like I said before, sometimes to apply the proper amount of force because I did break my one little dresser draw handle, but the rest came out fairly easy. You will also have to detach those little gun wraps in the upper left hand. You have to detach those. Once you get the wall all assembled, you can put those in to hang your guns, as you'll see later in the video. But it was pretty, this whole thing was fairly easy and it, it was fun to assemble. I don't, I'm not just saying that. I had a little bit of fun and time went by fast. I was in here for like an hour assembling this thing before I knew what in an hour it passed.
and the last thing we have to do here is snap the top portion onto the drawer holder itself and like I said before make sure you use the right amount of pressure not too much or you might snap something in half and even though this is made of some strong resin you got big strong hands like me you might snap something in half like my dresser drawer so now that we got that all assembled and put away we will go ahead and put the drawers dresser drawers so at least two of them in place in order to snap it to the wall there are two little T hinges or something I don't know what they're called because it's not in English but you snap them from the back of the wall into the dresser drawer to hold it to the wall I glued the wall together but I did not glue the dresser drawer to the wall and the reason why that is because I am getting I don't know if I said that in earlier in this video but I am getting three of these four walls putting them together and creating a diorama set so I might want to later you know, I might want to mix and match up the, the layout because you can't do that with all between the walls. You can, you know, put a dresser drawer here, the cabinet there. You can put the, uh, I think there's one with the like shelves. So you can rearrange them once you get them all. And that's what I plan to do. So let's just put those in there. Let's see how it fell off. Man, I hate that mess. Yeah, got to get that glue. But once you get that all assembled, you will put it onto the base of the wall and put the hinges in and you should be good to go and there you have it ladies and gentlemen the tommy tech little armory ld 006 gun rack b all put together nice and smooth looking all nice ah like i said before once i get the other two in i'll put them all together i'll do another video um this thing is very awesome Helps me get all those accessories out the way, like I said, plenty of draw space. So if you got some extra accessories laying around, rifles, pistols, boxes, whatever, looking to getting you uh, one or two or three of these little walls. Uh, last thing, you can get up to 11 rifles put onto the wall thanks to the hooks. I think two of them have like three holders and there are one for just one pistol, as you can see there as it rotates. But yeah, it's nice and it was fun. It was easy to put together. P.S. Make sure you get some glue. I can't say that enough. Uh, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can catch me on my other channels. You can catch me on Instagram. Catch it down all in the pinned comment or the details below. And until next time, remember, if it can't be good, be good at it.